Thank you for joining us today. So we all gathered here today to know more about one of the historic changes that is going to happen in the Indian tax history. Yes, I'm talking about the GST, which is going to happen in the first week of July. So today's session will be more about the tax reform and the business reform aspect of the GST. So before moving forward to the session, I would like to say a few words about Thai Chennai for the people who are new to our Thai community. So Thai is a not-for-profit organization founded in 1992, which is originated basically from Silicon Valley. And it's currently the world's largest entrepreneurial organization, and we are going to celebrate uh, Silver Jubilee this year. We are starting towards the betterment of entrepreneurship, and we believe in growing business through five pillars, mentoring, education, networking, funding, and incubation. So Thai Chennai is one of the top three best performing chapters for the, uh, for the past three consecutive years. Uh, this year, we are celebrating the 10th edition of Taikan Chennai, and it's happening on the 10th and 11th of November. Yes, the dates are announced. It's 10th and 11th of November. As an initiative to involve all the members uh, in sharing the program, so we, have, we will be keeping a suggestion box where you can drop what you want to know or what, want to, what you want to ha I mean, make happen during the Taikan Chennai 2016, your, sorry, 17, and your suggestions are welcome. We'll take it up to the committee. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Rajendra Kumar P, who is our speaker for the session. He's a fellow member of the Indian Institute of Chartered Abundance and a graduate member of the Indian Institute of Cost Accountants of India. Currently, he's a senior partner of Sanjeev Shah and Associates, Chartered Abundance in Chennai, and he's head indirect action practice in the firm. He's a member of the International VAT Association, headquartered in Belgium. He is the only Indian on the technical advisory group in the Working Party 9 on Construction Taxes, VAT, sorry, BAT, GST, OECD in France. He is the first elected president of the International Chamber of Indirect Tax Professionals, headquartered in Chennai. He is the president of Association of Chartered Governance Chennai. He is also the vice president of prestigious Hindustan Chamber of Commerce in Chennai. He is also known as the BAT, he is also known as the father of the BAT order the state of Tamil Nadu. Now, going towards the awards section, he is the recipient of prestigious Rajasthan Yuvaratna from the Rajasthan Association of Tamil Nadu, awarded to youth who have rendered meritorious service to the society. He is also the recipient of Thyagaraya Award for the year 2011 for excellence in his public service. The JC's International Royal Excellence Award was presented to him during the year 2011 for his service to the society. I would like to Call him on stage. So please join us. Hey, I am traveling from Jitaywara to Hyderabad and Chennai. So all it is raining. Wherever I am going, it is raining except in Chennai. Uh, not only rain, but also GST rains. This is my 108th meeting on GST. And this is the smallest audience I am going to address. In 108 meetings, sir. This is the smallest audience ever I'll be addressing on GST. Very nice uh, because we can have a good interaction. The largest I addressed was 1,500 people in Nagpur. Then I spoke to chartered accountants in Nagpur. In fact, uh, the whole country seems to be going only in one direction. GST as if there is no other subject today. But for people like me, <coughs> who don't deal in any other subject, I am a chartered accountant. So chartered accountant, everyone will start thinking about income tax only. But I am a chartered accountant who don't know income tax. Now I don't want to know also. So 20 years I left income tax. I don't know any other law other than the law which I deal in, excise duty, service tax, VAT. Now what all of you know or call it as GST. Everyone is speaking on GST. Now, before I give you something on this subject, I would like to know about you first, what you do. Whether you have a finance background, you have a tax background, or you only have a technology background. The technology, I can't understand anything. I only know to switch on my computer and work, that's all. Beyond that, I don't know anything. I get stuck in my Android phones also sometimes. So, 
generally anyone is having a finance background here? Some of you are there. Yeah. Any chartered accountant amongst this? India? There's one Jagarajan who was supposed to come. Jagarajan is a is a startup with a chartered of recent he is here in this tech park only. And uh, all others are all uh, say the new startups who are there, who are working and who started their career. And you are technology based people, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Good. See, all along finance has always been a function which uh, nobody likes. Especially the non-finance people will not like finance people because they think that they are the boss. Nama People will tell like that. Now people will tell more like that. <laughs> because GST will change. GST will will ensure that. It, uh, these things become more clear. See, GST is not a tax reform. It is not a reform which has come to replace any taxes. No. It is a way the people structure their working capital arrangements. All those things will change permanently. Through a reform which is a tax reform. Now, if you ask me when all this started and all, as a person who is involved in this for now 20 years, I can say the foundation goes to P.V. Narsimha Rao days. That is why some person is behind Manmohan Singh to attend the on the fifth. That he must attend because he is a man who started all these things. 1992, Dr. Manmohan Singh, when he was then finance minister, all this reform process of Indian taxation, Indian economy itself started those days. And once such a reform that started and we have to implement it is going to begin from July 1. So someone is asking me, sir, Varuma Varada, July 1, the government will launch it. Everyone is so eager, I don't know why. Everyone, I mean, news channels, everyone is like, so the DS is going to come, we are going to start Varuma Varada, why this, that, and all. Nothing to relax. It will come on July 1. July 2, you will wake up the same way you did it. Not much problem. You will do the same thing only, but little different. Little different. See, basically, in our country, we have this excise duty on manufacture, service tax on services, value added tax on the VAT, on sales. Value added tax on sales. But now, all these will merge together in what we call it as GST. GST. One nation, one tax is in this. That is what is being told. But if you open GST book, it will be CGST, SGST, IGST, UDGST. I don't know if you is we still be the master storyteller. Screen plan our mari armor. Beautiful story as well. The Indian GST experience is a K Bagala film. Title number catch here. Ulla Pana Kalal Mari is long going on, going something different. And there is no end now. It's outside Chennai. We come here. Now things have changed totally. Hawkers are there. They will continue to do business on July 1 also. No one is going to disturb them. They will continue to do business without invoice. They won't give you invoice. They will do only cash sale. But uh, over the period of years, uh, these type of people who sell in this country without an invoice have reduced. Uh, GST will further reduce them. G 
GST will further reduce such a transactions which are happening without invoices. GST will force businesses to pay tax. See, the provisions of the law are such that they will force businesses to pay tax. The provisions are such, like, such that once you are inside this, you cannot come out. Once you can marry, you can come out. There is a provision in some law. You can come out. But in GST, once you are inside, you are stuck there. That's it. Either the person who is doing that should die or he should close down the business permanently. That's it. Over. You cannot, otherwise, you cannot come out. So that is the manner in which the law is structured. Almost all the corporates, whether big, medium, or semi-medium, what they have done, they have issued letters to all their vendors. Please give your GST number. Please give your GST number. Sir, why is your GST number? I don't have, my turnover is less than 20 lakhs. I will not come in GST, then don't come near me. Either register in GST and come, or don't come near me, I will not do business with you henceforth. Why? There is a provision in the law that if the other man does not pay, you have to pay. How difficult it is. If you don't pay, I will have to pay your tax. As if I am you. Avanani Mari. As if I am you. Why I should take it? Why I should be you? Na 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 ve rupee. Na ya ano mari maro mar matte. Like that. So why should I take his burden on my head? Suppose I forget, then that interest has to I have to pay, I have to pay penalty. All those things are there, isn't it? So the corporate says no. If you are not registered in GST, don't come near me. But if you register in GST, what happens? Unlike the current law, which gives you an exemption. There is a law, the current laws give you a threshold exemption. That is, up to this, if you don't exceed, don't pay tax. Even if you are registered, file nil return. File nil return. That is what the law, current laws say. GST is not like that. Once you are inside, you have to pay the tax. No exemption for you. There is no exemption. Income tax, there is some exemption, no? Some exemption they give. Nothing. Once you are inside, you have to pay the tax. Whether you are, you are exceeded or not exceeded, once registered permanently, payment of tax, filing of returns, the law which is there for a, for a company with 25,000 crores will also apply to a person who does 50 lakhs. No change, without any change. So that is how the law is structured. But you can stop and you can ask me questions also. Don't. You need not think that I am only doing a monologue here, no. It's a dialogue. You can ask me questions, I will answer the questions, no problem. Any question? Yes, sir. So, so you are saying that the deadlines threshold was there earlier, there is no more there. Is that what you are saying or it has been enforced in a different way by asking you to take a GST? What, 10 lakhs, sir? I think if you, if you do a business for 10 lakhs. Value added tax or service tax? It's a service tax. Okay. Ah. It was there. I think 10 lakhs was a threshold. Service tax. Yes, yes. yes. Right. Please, yeah. My question is, is that, is that threshold the existing, even the new regime, or it's being enforced in a slightly different way? Threshold is there. It is not 10, it is 20. Okay. It is increased. Okay. But if you register before exceeding 20, you will pay tax. You will have to pay tax. In service tax, you register before exceeding 10, you still need not pay tax. But you still need not pay the tax. Here it is, the law is different. It works differently. Any other questions there? I didn't understand that. Can you repeat that? Yeah? You said 10, 20, 10, 20. What do you do? Uh, I do uh, uh, design service. Design. So you are a designer? Yes. You are on your own or you work for a company? On my own. You are on your own. Now, 
you do designing in India or you designing for people who are out of India? Both. Both you do. Now, the current law as far as the tax called as services tax is, if the total value of the services which you did in India for which you received a payment did not exceed 10 lakhs, you need not register. You need not pay the tax also even if you register. Okay. In GST, if you register, then you have to compulsorily pay the tax. Even if you don't exceed the prescribed limit. Now you do the designing for whom? For startups. For? Startups. For startups you do designing. So you let us assume I am a startup. You do a designing for me. Assume I am paying you 50,000 rupees for the design. Okay. Now, either you have to pay GST. If you don't pay, I have to pay. If you don't pay, if I am a registered startup, registered in GST, because my turnover exceeds 20 lakhs in a year, in a year, then the tax which you should have paid, you have not paid because you didn't exceed, so I will have to pay. If you are a tax, I will pay. Understood? Yes, sir. What, yes. Will, what will happen if my startup is also not exceeding 20 lakhs? Then both of you are not registered. Ah, so no problem. There is no need of paying tax. Nothing. Only where you are recipient, you are a recipient and you are registered. He is the supplier of the service, he is not registered. Then you will become liable to pay his tax as if you are he. As if you are the designer. Yes, sir. Sir, I have a question. See, uh, is it double tax or single tax? For example, a product is bought for 10 rupees mm -hmm. and sold to 12 rupees. Anyway, you pay the sales tax on 12 rupees. Mm -hmm. Now, if the supplier doesn't pay for that 10, mm -hmm. okay, say 5% is the tax. For 12 rupees is the 5% which we pay normally. Does that mean I should pay for 12 rupees also, for 10 rupees also, or only 1 12 rupees? No input rated. How is it? Uh, you bought from whom? From a supplier. How much you sold it to you for? 10 rupees. 10 rupees. Yeah. 10 rupees only. So what I said your purchase value. Right? What is your purchase value? 10. 10 rupees. Correct. On that 10 rupees you will pay the tax. Okay. 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 Now, if on 12 rupees there is a tax, okay. you will still pay on 12 rupees, you are 12 rupees, okay. and take this set off of this 10 rupees that you have already paid. Correct. Okay. That is current system. Yes. That is also this new system. So, where is, if the supplier doesn't pay, I should pay, what, where is it coming? Same thing, a current system you said, no? No, I'm not. What you are doing, you tell me. So, I am the trader, basically. No, what you are, now you tell me. I am into corporate gifting business. Corporate? Gifting. Corporate gifting business, very good, excellent. So, you you prepare the gift and you give it to the sell it to the corporate, isn't it? Correct. Let us assume diaries. Correct. Assume diaries. Yeah. You buy diary from Bandar Street. Okay. Chennai. Maybe you do some designing in that. You print some name and then you give it to the corporate. Correct. You went to Bandar Bandar Street. You bought hundred diaries. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That fellow merely gave you an invoice. Correct. 50,000 rupees. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You also came to your office, you gave it to your accountant, or you yourself are accountant, you are putting it in your account 50,000 rupees. Okay. Okay. Now, when you are selling it, mm -hmm. assume you are paying a tax, you are registered in VAT law. Correct. You are registered in VAT law. Okay. You not a value added tax yes. act. Yes. You, do, you only pay that 50,000 rupees that you bought, maybe you sold for 75,000 rupees. Okay. You paid for 75,000, you forgot. Correct. Relaxed. Correct. Okay. Correct. Now, in GST, it is different now. Okay. This 50,000 rupees which you paid to whom? To one yes. person. Mm. Okay. Mm. When you are receiving it, okay. is there a tax component on that? No tax no. component. No. Now, what the law says, on this 50,000, you will have to pay GST. Okay. You have to pay on okay. this 50,000. Okay. When you pay on 75,000, okay. say 15 percentage, mm -hmm. when you collect it from the other person, mm -hmm. whatever you paid for this, you will reduce it. Okay. This 50,000, whom should I pay? To the government only. To oh. you. Because you are a registered person, you pay okay. to the government. Oh, I will declare purchase also and pay. Okay. Yes. 
So I can yes. buy cash also, no problem. If provided I am paying the tax. Yes, you can buy in cash, you can buy in check. Okay. But all your purchases must be tax paid purchases. Okay. I can start. do access in for him also. Yes, if they don't. So what you will do? Okay. To avoid all this headache, anyway you are going to get a credit. Correct. You will straight away go to a shop with GSC register, mm. buy the 50,000 mm. diary from that person, okay. pay the amount with the tax, okay. come here and take the credit immediately. Okay. That only you will do, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, this side some questions. Sir, you are asking. Sir, anyway, if the person Get the assist or is there any the registration is PAN based. So they will link the PAN? Yes. So only they are not they will link the PAN. You have the to number link itself the is PAN, PAN number only. Yeah, yeah, yes to four four two zero 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 one it will come. So you can't register one more PAN in the same state. But I can do a different state. Different state you can do, but it will be number two, zero zero two it will come. There is the, the all India Threshold is 20 lakhs only. Per PAN, 20 lakhs. You may have 10 registrations in a PAN. But 20 lakhs only is the PAN based. So it's not that I can have 4 in 4 every No, 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 no. PAN based. It is PAN based. You can't have this. Even though it's a PAN over, I mean, yeah, more than 20 lakhs, we have to pay the tax. Yes, Even though? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Even though that uh, particular year not more cost more than twenty lakhs, we have to pay the tax. If you register, not you have to pay. Pay. If you register. Okay. If you register, you have to pay. Service tax. And you are we, your service tax. Yeah, we, we supply cars to corporates. To supply cars. cars car, uh, we are a car rental company. We do commercial service and uh, tourism cars now. We basically take a supply from uh, independent car owners who are definitely below 20 lakhs. So they are not registered with GST. We are registered with GST. So which means if I'm going to buy 100 rupees worth of service from him and supply to my client for 120 rupees, I need to pay uh, this 5% which we got under. 50% which we have Yes, sir. What about big assets like building on the... Uh, building. What about big assets like building? Yeah. See, uh, we can take input for it. See, since you are not a very pure... Uh, audience to which I need to speak in detail, there are some restrictions on credit. Some restrictions are there. Like for example, as a chartered accountant, I buy a car for my use. I can't take credit. Why? That is the law. Don't question the law. That is the law. But, doctors are not dropping from heaven now. They are still born out of the normal process. <laughs> But, sir, tomorrow he, he is in you know, car bundle. You are in, you are in transportation. Yeah, yeah, logistics. Now he buys, let us say, 10 cars tomorrow. 10 cars he is going to buy. He gets a GST invoice. Since he is in that business, that entire credit he will get. That whole GST which he paid for purchase of car, he will get it against his tax payable, which means for one year you will never pay any tax. <laughs> because the credit itself so much confidence will be there. So I just put in a point of my credit. And this is not there the current system. Okay, so if you must be in that line, when in, in motor car you must be in that line of activity. Or you must purchase a vehicle for transportation of your goods. Transportation of your goods. Only then you can do. Likewise, works contracts. He asked something about building. That is not available. Credit, government is not giving. You can't ask government why you are not giving. You will not give. That's all over. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, under current service tax uh, mm. for the export of services, mm. um, under some circumstances you need not charge the service tax. Mm. Right? You know, when, when you are charging in dollars, the service is not going to be consumed in your country, mm. and the invoice is in dollars or whatever, for mm. those conditions. Mm. Uh, is it going to remain the same in the It GST? is the same, always it is the same. There will be no change. When a business uh, 
when a consumption of a particular economic activity happens outside your territorial jurisdiction, India, outside India, it is an export. And money has to be realized in foreign exchange. The consumption must happen outside India, not in India. You can still receive a foreign exchange and the consumption can happen in India. It's possible. So it is the place where the consumption happens is the place where the tax impact triggers. Okay. One last question. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you, you talked about uh, central GST, state GST kind of things. I'm mm -hmm. not sure you're going to cover that later. But uh, yeah. you're going to. Yeah. Okay. So, what I understood is key word today is not Purchase, sale, etc. is the word called supply. Supply, yes. Can you just elaborate a bit on that? The second is the big fear, especially among smaller enterprises, that the cost of compliance, keeping an accountant, having a lawyer, all law firms are increasing number of people, so very salivating at the prospect of litigation, that will increase. What is your uh, general advice to everybody? Up, up. See, basically, this is CGST, SGST. So when you are going to now go and buy anything from a shop, today when we go and buy, we don't even look at the invoice, isn't it? Come, Tamil, you are comfortable because you are in technology park. English person. English 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 I can mix Tamil also, isn't it? No, particular Tamil person or Tamil English Tamil English 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 I can speak in Hindi also, Telugu also. Four languages I can speak. Yes. I have two questions. Uh, whether the ne it is necessary for the registration for separate bank branches also? Outside the state, yes. Outside the state. Yes. And oh. one more question. Uh, now the says if if the companies like corporates, uh, for example, like Mex. They are under in the SIS. So whether the GST will be applicable for them also hereafter? What is the what is what are you doing now? Uh, um, corporate trainings. Corporate training. Yes. Okay. Now when you are doing a corporate training in MEPS, do you charge service tax? No, no, we won't. You won't charge. Same thing applies to as on date. That is the law. Oh. Okay. So the input credit is not there. It what will not be there. Because there is no output liability, no input credit for No, say for in my case, I take a car mm. uh, from my supplier, I pay the 5% tax on his bill. I am supplying to a client inside the MEPS, uh, what happens, say, inside the SEC zone. Mm. So I am not supposed to be charging them. Uh, but according to me, your transaction is liable to tax, even if it is within the MEPS. Because the services must be consumed within MEPS. In your case, it is not consumed within MEPS. Okay, so. So, so the your liability is there. You have to charge the MEPS guy. Yes, yes. They will have to take a refund. They will have to take a refund. Oh, they take a refund. Yes. Sir, on this... Uh, Capital goods, you ask something. 50-50. Uh, uh, Fully, table. you can take credit. Okay. No, on the supply goods, I mean, I see. Hmm. So, currently, for my suppliers, we give uh, form A2, which is to, uh, to enable them to not charge us service tax. Hmm. But future, GST, they say that uh, supplies to is at all zero rated and treated at all with exports. Hmm. So the guy, the service provider has to, uh, he, he should not charge service tax on the basis of a bond or he has to pay and take credit. So yes. it's purely on the, on the hands of service See, it is. it will be an IGST transaction. Whenever a service or whenever any goods are being sold into an SEZ, it will be an IGST transaction chargeable at zero rate. It's a different concept. Yeah. Only two of you are there. Any, anyone else is there? All of you are SEZ or no? Okay. I'll tell you later. Yeah. I'll give you my number, you call me, I'll tell you over phone. Uh, we pay around uh, uh, a good amount of money to the Google AdWords guys, where we pay the Google? service AdWords. Even the TDS and all that is not, uh, even those, uh, we can take input credit. No, I didn't get you. Uh, Google AdWords, we pay for advertising. And they charge us that 15% tax. Right now, I don't know how much it's going to change. Mm. Even those are, uh, can we take credit? Yeah, on why not? You can take. From GST, right, you can take. And one more question. If you are liable to pay the tax, you can take it. One more question. Uh, what if I am supplying car to a same uh, uh, client, another office outside Tamil Nadu? So do I need to register there again? Because the supply is done at another state, say for, say for instance Delhi. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm giving a car to the same client, mm -hmm. uh, but it's being supplied in Delhi, but I'm billing them to Chennai. So mm -hmm. the place of service matters or the invoice? Uh, the invoice. Where is the client situated? 
Uh, they are headquartered in Chennai. Chennai only. Yeah, but you, you have given the car then to Chennai. Chennai address. Chennai address. Invoice is Chennai address, but I supplied car in Delhi. Understand. Doesn't matter. Chennai only. Okay. It is not an interstate transaction. What if I am billing to Delhi address? Ah, then it will change. Then your, your, your position will change. What is the difference? It's an interstate transaction. Okay. First of all, we will discuss that later. Okay. I'll just explain the concept. CGST, SGST. Whenever now you are going to go to any shop, uh, you will find two taxes on your invoice. Don't get frightened. Oh, fuck. Even now you are paying. Even today, you are paying more than what you will be paying. Because something is not visible. So ignorance is bliss. Now today, if you go and buy, let us say, a commodity like soap or bath, the soap has suffered excise duty at 12.5 percentage. But you and I don't know. Because someone has paid somewhere, it has become a cost. The trader cannot take credit of that soap that excise duty paid on that soap because he never got that invoice. It is a manufacturing tax. Only value added tax, 14.5 percentage of soap we pay, but that also we are not bothered. Why? We don't even bother to see what is the tax component. Isn't it? Now the whole system will change. When you go and buy the soap, it will still be 30 rupees, assume, the final price. But there will be a breakup now. How much is CGST? How much is SGST? Every person who is registered shall issue a tax invoice. Shall issue a tax invoice. All of you who are having this mobile phone postpaid connection. Currently it is 15 percentage service tax, isn't it? Now it will be 18 percent. CGST 9, SGST 9. So, the CGST credit can be taken only against CGST. SGST credit can be taken only against SGST because this is a federal country. India is a federal country. So, tax paid to central government, state won't allow credit. Tax paid to state government, center won't allow credit unless it is a IGST transaction, interstate transaction. Interstate credit is allowed. In fact, now you will have to have proper monthly accounting. You ask me a question. Lawyers are increasing people because litigation is going to be there. No. Maybe for a short while, people will, accounting jobs are going to increase phenomenally. Even today, you have to maintain monthly accounts. You don't do that is different. <laughs> you still have to file proper monthly returns. We file something and then say part of our annual return goal. But in the GST, you cannot do like that. You have to maintain proper accounts, file proper returns without delay. Because if you are not going to do that, it is going to have an impact on your working capital. There are going to be restrictions on taking credit. If you are going to delay payment of taxes, there is going to be, in addition to interest, there is going to be a late fee. There is going to be a late fee. So, you will have to become more organized, which means that there should be at least one accountant in your office who takes care of all these things. There must be one computer with an accounting package and there must be a Wi-Fi. Because everything is going to happen online. Wife need not be there. Wi-Fi should be there. <laughs> Remember. Wife need not be there means not near you always. There is a problem. Wife includes husband also, madam. Now, wife only has children. Wi-Fi, because everything is now online. You need not go visit any tax office now. All things will happen only online. See, those days, uh, we used to go to railway station to book railway ticket, isn't it? Today what we do? Okay, just to go to IRCT, book cinema ticket, online alone book. You don't stand in cinema, that the release of the Kala. 
online book to buy it. You don't stand in queue to buy it. Some people do that still, but that population has become much much lesser. Same thing will happen in GST. What today we think, Arakuma, Uro Pere data, Arakuma Narakada, but it will happen after 10 years. You will think, what is this? That day I thought today it becomes so easy. Rail like railway booking, anywhere, anyone, anybody, any person can do, isn't it? At the same time, hundreds of people are booking the same train. But how it is getting booked? That is technology. You know better than me. Those who are techno technology savvy people. So the whole thing will happen through system. Only thing is, next six months to one year, there will be little confusions. Which will get resolved as you proceed and will stabilize after, after say two years, three years or five years. But till such time, you have to live with this problem. So for that only you need accountants to handhold. Don't get into a problem, otherwise lawyers will ensure that next 20 years they fight your cases. <laughs> accountants are better because they won't allow you to land into a problem. Because I'm not because I'm an accountant, I'm telling that. Because I don't believe litigation should be the end, the be and be all and end all of everything. So we, we need to do some proper planning. So what happens on July 1, what I have to do? Whatever returns you are going to file on 30th June, if you are a VAT dealer, you can take credit as it is. Service tax returns, April, May, June, 30th June, you have to file by August 15th. If there is a credit component, you can take it in July, just to transfer it, no problem. Excise component, transfer it, no problem. There is one statement which you have to file within 90 days from July 1. Whatever credit balance you are having, whatever stocks you are having, which if you are a seller of goods, that disclosure has to be made to the government within 90 days from July 1. So go to your chartered accountant, get that certificate from him. He will give you a certificate after doing all the verifications and he will upload it. You can upload it yourself. Then, having done all these things, in the next six months, as you proceed filing your returns on a monthly, now it is monthly return. You are filing <coughs> service tax returns half yearly, isn't it? Quarterly. Now it is monthly. Quarterly payment of tax. Now everything is month on month. Each month you have to do this. What we are doing for six months in service tax, you have to do monthly. Excise duty, VAT, we still used to do monthly only. Payment on monthly basis and filing return also on monthly basis. Only thing is service tax changes. Any doubt, sir? You will pay the tax and then file the return. So, one more question. Hmm. Uh, GST. Uh, so, it allows that uh, if the RCC is eligible for input tax credit, if the return has been filed. Hmm. So, in the month of April, I have made the purchases. Hmm. And the return will be filed in the by 10th, 20th of May. So, 20th of? May. Why are you going to May? Come to June and July. So, sorry. Okay, so July suppose I made the purchases mm. and the supplier will be filing the return by 20th. April. Sorry. August. Oh, sorry, August. Mm. Uh, mm. So I will be eligible to take the credit instantly or after he has filed the return. I will tell you what will happen. See, the government is going to match your everything is there good. So you gave your details to your customer, to your clients. Yes. So from whom you buy, did you give your details to them also or take their details also? It should be a two way now. Unless and until it is B to C. Unless until it is B to C, where from each customer you cannot take. But if it is B to B, it should be both ways. It should be both ways. Because on the 10th of the subsequent of the next month, July, August 10th, you will file your you will upload your output invoices with the HSN code with the GST number of the person to whom you sold output invoices. This output invoice is an input for someone because the GST number is there. So it will go and blink on his portal. See, Mr. Radha Krishnan has uploaded his invoice in your name. Are you approving it? He said, yes, approve. Reverse process will happen 15th to 20th you will upload your input invoices because you have taken credit. 
to the other person will say yes only then the credit is validated so invoice invoice matching can happen i purchase from him okay he will validate i sold to him he will validate it theoretically when i say it will look different but when it happens practically automatically because every every time you have to go and say yes that's all just say yes tick yes in our case uh, when we when we take input service when we we take the service from somebody else uh, they are not registered with gst who uh, the cars which i am okay that that's what i said no you will pay their tax yourself yes. so you take credit there it is not required so the second part where i approve or uh, uh, upload the uh, uh, the invoice input invoice that doesn't happen happen to you unless and until they are registered they are registered you still take credit okay so what second, what if let me complete what if somebody is crossing a 20 lakh threshold and uh, uh, lied to us saying that we are not crossing 20 lakh since they are not registered with gst does it affect me you will still pay gst on reverse charge so it's not going to affect us anyway legally for not very for him it will affect us huh. tomorrow he gets caught more than 20 lakhs he didn't pay he will still pay the entire amount but he cannot collect it from you right okay. okay wait wait let me complete so this process will happen between 10th and 20th matching concept kalyanathla jaga ga match pannidha kelli pottrukom now each month matching will happen invoice invoice matching this, so this your is... accountant should not take leave <laughs> <laughs> this is where the gst score na kalyanam poi kalyanam sanna naali panni va kalyanam ipo tickets ki poi your accountant should not take leave is that where the gst score or something which is going to come is going to affect yes 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 so on the after all this matching happens the computer will say this is your liability boss your books liability will be x your portal app will say your liability is y because some fellow has not validated your transaction all right he is only marriage whatever it is kada mudi poi ta ஓடியே போயிட்டான் அக்கவுண்டன்ட் இல்ல அக்கவுண்டன்ட் கூட யாரோ ஓடி போயிட்டாங்க ஓ யா தட் தட் கம்ஸ் டு क्वेश्चन வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் தே தே க்ளோஸ்ட் அப் தட் இஸ் தி ப்ராப்ளம் சி தட் இஸ் வை தே சே சம் பேசிக் ப்ராப்ளम्स will be there सपोज यू यू परचेज्ड समथिंग फ्रॉम जयपुर फ्रॉम जयपुर यू ब्रॉट सम यू परचेज समथिंग यू आर नॉर्मल डीलर ओनली यू आर यू हैव अपलोडेड दैट इनवॉइस यू हैव टेकन क्रेडिट that fellow is not accounted at all <laughs> then what you will do on the day approve panna da inga credit kedaikum approve panna credit e kedaikad that is the problem so that is why so bad businesses will get out of the exactly way. correct gst is going to give the rating a rating na first class all proper matching is doing proper taxes is paying proper return is filing so as you go down e no one our business e aram panna matan so no one will want to be in that e tree e category rating which means today what is happening no sir i am billing bill ellam kudupana tax katta matan ee credit eduthirpa i have seen some transactions like that valid business tax component is there you have taken credit that will never pay to government that he has taken tax from you but he never paid to government so these type of businesses will stop that that how is that going to affect us what uh, say for instance recently there was an incident where most car companies in uh, which are supplying to maraimal and nagar companies mm. they took service tax but they never paid so the uh, the the client got noti- uh, client got uh, uh, notice is served by the service tax yes i know so how how is that going to affect uh, the client has taken credit no ha huh. so that will be rejected the client has taken credit there So the notice will come to the client. How did you take credit? That fellow did not no. pay. Right. But in service tax, it's a different story. I'll tell you later. But in GST, it is your duty to ensure that that fellow has paid the tax. That is why they say you must buy from a trusted dealer, trusted person, a grey category. You must not do business at all and sundry people who cheat, people who are decoys, people who do who collect take tax from in the name of government and don't deposit in the government. there is why matching of invoice if that fellow is not going to approve your matching your credit is at risk your output liability will be nice. x whereas in your in your books it will be z so there will be a difference 
So he must match your invoices. And then on the 20th, when all this matching is over, 20th, you will have to upload the final return. Whatever matching has done, it is automatically coming in your main return form, which you are going to file on 20th. It's, it's, it's automatic. It will come. So there's no corrections. There's no amend. Nothing you can do. Does it come through B2C also? Sir? B2C business. B2C, that's what you B2C don't come. Okay. B2C, what will happen? You can't send an invoice to the customer, please no. approve and okay. account. You can't do that, isn't it? Sir, after 20th, I can take the credit or after instant, they can do What do you mean by after? You, sir, once you have uploaded, if the other person has not approved, you cannot take it. He has to approve. One month time is given, that's all. So, bank vendors and bank clients both are identified. Yes. I do bulk purchases to three or four customers. Bulk purchases? For example, if I buy one particular component, one product for some 100 numbers, okay, and sell it to five different customers, 100, 100 each. Yes. In different timelines. Okay. Not in the same month. Okay. How is the credit calculated here? Because one particular. Okay. Yeah. In August. Assume you bought 500 diaries. Okay. You paid, let us say, 10,000 rupees as tax. Okay. When you pay your output tax in assume your output tax in September is 15,000. Okay. Whatever this 10,000 you paid as tax in August, uh, yeah. you can adjust it in September. Okay. Only 5,000 you will pay. Okay. But you never sold any diary. They are lying still with you. Okay. As and when you make an invoice, you will still bill them and you will pay the tax. Credit immediately. It is not that only when you make a sale, you have to take credit. No. Oh, okay. Today I bought. When you can when take credit. It's like chair. You bought a chair for your office. You take credit immediately. No. Okay. No, no. Only when you sell, you know, you are not in chair business. Okay. Okay. That is how it works. Including one pen when okay. you buy for your office. Okay. With the GST, 100 mm -hmm. rupees pen you purchased, mm -hmm. GST 18 rupees, mm -hmm. you can take credit for that. Okay. For your office. Okay. Yeah. Second question is if my supplier doesn't pay the uh, tax, okay, and I get a notice that uh, it is not done, so I pay the tax for them. Whenever he pays, will the credit come back to me? You already taken credit, no? Because you have paid it. Okay. You can take credit. Yes, sir. So if the supplier uh, does not pay mm -hmm. and it keeps repeating in my system, it shows up, I upload the ESR, that a problem. it keeps carrying on for months. Uh, yeah, that's that's problem. Yeah. That, is a, that is a problem. For me, the supplier is a problem. The supplier from whom you received has not paid the tax you remitted to him, you are in a problem. You cannot take the credit. So until the does that, it will keep showing up in my yes, system as due. Yes, 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 yes. And these, these adjustments are automatically made? Automatically. You cannot, you cannot in between. Uh, in B2C, uh, this is like training. Uh, training is offer to a crowd. Yes. So, uh, I will be paying 18% tax. So, I cannot take the training. Is it like that? Why? When you bought for something, you, too, you can take, no? When you buy. But training is, I, I don't buy anything. Oh, I sell the training service. So training. 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 I am hearing trading. Sorry. Training. Training. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, do uh, provide trading service to uh, end customers. Okay. Not a corporate. Okay. Which means that I cannot involve. What did you What did you buy for your training? You have any office? No. Uh, you, just, you are a freelancer. Freelancer. You are a freelancer. You don't have any office. You don't have any staff. Nothing is Nothing. there. Then. You are one of the best patriots for this nation. <laughs> you will pay full tax okay. and walk your, with your head high. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm asking. I will pay the full tax. <laughs> yeah, 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 plus. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. Right. Uh, is it the case wherein uh, I have an address in Chennai and I invoice a customer in Bangalore? Is that what you meant and how does it work? Yes, sir. See, what is it you are doing? Services. services, certain concept will change. Services, IT certain services. concept will change. IT services. What service? IT service. What is IT service? I, I do so many things are there, no? Right. You say that it's a website design. Designing of? Websites. 
designing of website. Okay. Now, who is your client? Where is he located? In Karnataka. In Karnataka. Okay. And you are in Chennai. Right. Okay. Now, it is an interstate transaction for you. IGST bill you have to give. And only IGST credit can be taken. IGST bill, no, no, one second. IGST bill you have to give, which means even if you are less than 20 lakhs, you have to register. Even one transaction registration is compulsory. Okay. If you are making even one interstate supply, registration is compulsory. Take it from me, sir. I, I got it. So you have to register, even if it is one invoice, you have to register. Once registered, permanently locked. Okay. <laughs> Same GST number, right? That's, that's same GST number only. Same, everything works same. Now, the IGST which you, why it is IGST, I'll tell you. See, today it is origin based tax. The VAT component on goods, it is CST. Tamil Nadu government collects the tax, keeps it with themselves. They don't give it to state. But GST is a destination based consumption tax. So when you bill him IGST, the other person will take full credit of your tax against his output liability. If there is IGST, output liability, IGST against IGST. If there is a C, no IGST, then IGST can be adjusted against CGST. And balance left, if any, it can be adjusted against SGST. So IGST against IGST. IGST against CGST, IGST against ESGST. This is the change. Okay, sir. Nothing called a sale now, everything is a supply. You purchased a chair for your business. You took credit. After two years, you are selling that chair for 10 rupees. You will still pay GST for that 10 rupees. You will still pay GST for the 10 rupees because the tax component was given to you as credit. Even if it is not given to you as credit, it is a business asset which you are disposing. Sir, I don't gift it, sir. I gave it to my office boy. Enjoy. But since you have taken credit, you have to give value, pay the tax. Pay the tax for that business asset which you gifted. Now you are in corporate gifting. There is a special provision for people like you. <laughs> the law says an employer can gift any money to employee. Anything can be gifted. The law will not come in between you and gifting. You please gift anything you want. Try to try do it. But if the value exceeds 50,000 per employee, GST has to be paid. Assume uh, you are a Titan man, Titan manufacturer, a Titan company. 50,000 per employee. employee. Per year. Per year. Okay, you are, you are Titan. One of your employees is getting married. Okay. You are also very happy because he is also going to be in the same problem like you. <laughs> so you gift him one lakh worth of watch. You gift him one lakh worth of watch. The GST law says since it is more than 50,000, you gift to no problem. For this one lakh, you pay GST, whatever is the applicable rate. Is it 50,000 or balance or the full? Fully, no balance, fully. Once entered, fully. No threshold, fully. So, you have to be very careful. Fellows are not going to buy costly items from you. Is it per annum restricted? Per annum, per person. Per annum, per person. It should not exceed 50,000. Why? Because, see, when I am going to buy from you, I am going to take credit, no? And I, I can't gift it. I have taken credit, I can't gift. If I gift more than 50,000, I have to pay GST. Okay. Sir, one more question. I buy a laptop for my office. Yes. I can claim CGS. Uh, CGS or yeah. GST for it. Okay. The laptop after three years it comes off. Mm. I'm not using it and it is not in working condition. Mm. So Sell for 10 rupees to someone. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Mandatory you have to disclose that it is sold. 
100 rupees, you put a value and sell it to someone. Yes. Don't get it all. Yes. Huh? Yes. 100 rupees. Yes. Gift to you bring it part of CTC. This salary you have to pay Farm 16 in new tax. Please, I need not. Yes. We are conducting that. Right? So, if all the trainers or uh, the company, they are asking for TDSD and service tax. TDSD, TDSD. TDSD, TDSD. TDSD, TDSD. TDSD, 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 TDS. 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 Service tax is charged. You can do it. 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 In GST, I will charge GST. You will cut the GST on my behalf. And you will get credit. That's the most. If you have a tax cut, I will get it. Okay? You will get credit. TDS is the income tax. TDS is the income tax. And the income tax is the amount of money to pay for the balance of 100 rupees training charges. The income tax is 2 rupees. You will give me 98 rupees. 2 rupees you will pay to the income tax department. Is that right? I am going to cut the advance tax. I am going to cut the advance tax. Is that right? Now, service tax is something that trainers collect. Now, in that case, for example, if you come to your company, you have to pay your invoice, you have to pay your service tax applicable. So, if you pay your service tax, you have to pay your service tax. Do you have to pay your card? Yes. That's why you have to pay your card. Do you have to pay your card? Yes. Do you have to pay your card? Yes. Do you have to pay your card? Yes. That's all. Do you have to pay your card? Yes. Pena paper pencil lah mangering la, table chair lah mangering la, semua orang kelia, ini mei semua orang GST pun kacik la, dua lagi orang ni lende, puji dah, inu aja ni mana GST ruko, apade kacik la, puji dah, ini lene mana sah pandra tu, ni kacik, triple triple plus, ni kacik, ni kacik rent rent kau, aduk tu show dua orang pos, inu aja ni GST illa, kerja orang bill la tu, bill value orang. Harga untuk tersebut dua ratus lima puluh ribu soler kan? Per bill lima ratus lima puluh ribu jadi silaturahmi parah lah, bukan tiada lah. Okay. Sering lah. Okay. So what is the estimate? Fifty percent of the business in India will close down. Why? Why? They not? They'll pay tax. That's all. They'll pay tax. They'll have to pay tax. Their margin is gone. They're only going to collect it from you, no? The previously, the tax was their margin. Yes. The tax was also their margin. Let me put it like this. <laughs> was also their margin. Now what will happen? They will pay to it Okay? They won't close down. They will join big people, that's all. They won't close down. Yes, sir? Assuming I am billing to an unregistered dealer. You are billing to an unregistered person. Okay. No problem. Why are you worrying? No, 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 you can build to anyone. Registered, unregistered, you can build to everyone. If he is registered, he is going to take credit, he is going to give you the GST invoice, the GST number. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So, the concept of abatement and all is gone? Gone, gone. We do service tax right now, 15 percent. So, we need... You do service tax? No. We are into digital marketing services. You are in digital marketing services? Correct. Very good, sir. So, on the invoice, we charge customers 15% service tax. Okay. Now, you will charge 18% from July 1. 
So will it be split? You said uh, CGST. Yes. So how do we split that? Uh, depends on where. CGST nine, SGST nine. Go to the GST portal. Okay. The sample invoice is there. Okay. Download that invoice and see for once. So the exemptions remain, sir, like the World Bank, the diplomats, those service taxes are. Ah, there. diplomats is the World Bank in Kalyan Terile. International organization, that is it. Currently, we don't uh, charge service tax from World Bank. It is there, it is there, still there, yes. GST? What? Uh, uh, there is no cess, sir, now. Mm. There is no cess. No such point. So, what are the items where we cannot take uh, credit? What, ah, what credit you cannot take? Motor vehicles, I told you. Outdoor, I mean, food and beverages. All catering related expenses, you cannot take credit. Personal related expenses, you cannot take credit. Membership of clubs, you cannot take credit. Works contract related, you cannot take credit. Works contract related, you cannot take credit. Okay, works contracts, you cannot take credit. Otherwise, everything else is. What about petrol, diesel? Petrol is not in GST at all, so automatic doesn't come. For something that was running transport service, you can't take any credit. That's not GST. Transport service means what? Like what he hiring cars, running Yeah, for him, he is going to charge you GST of 5 percent. Petrol, there is no GST, so he can't take credit of that expenditure. When it comes, he will take. But other services where I spent on repair works or maintenance, oil. You can do. Oh, because you are in that business, business. Okay. you can do. Okay. I own a car. So even if it's a private car, I can still go take credit? No, no. Only no. the car which I use for uh, commission? Business. business. So private car also you cannot take. If okay. take a Ola, in that case I can get credit? Okay. Yes, yes, you can. So this catering expenses is saying, because the company is hosting a party in Grand Chola, mm. and he gives me a room for two lakhs uh, DSG and all. Mm. Can I not take that? You cannot take. Even today you cannot take. But don't forget to call me. You cannot, the last says you can, even now you cannot take. Even you cannot today you cannot take, you cannot even tomorrow you cannot take. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, you cannot take. That is the law. As on date, that is the law. Don't forget to invite me. Sir, on customs duty, the credit can be taken? No. And but when we pay the session, no. Now there's no session. You can only take C V D component. What is that? Countervailing the Ungal Killa. Import on the car. Put the negative services list at the mega exemption recently given. That is that still stands hold or uh, No no, see that is the list, the service tax exemption list which is going to be notified as GST exemption. Okay, so that's that is still going to be Fully there. it is not there. Some changes have already happened in that. The draft is there. Some changes have already happened. You are in which line of activity? So I am actually into the accounts department, but I am studying CA. Uh, so, so having studied that, getting into the GSC, so I just started. Now you are going to write final. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Next year, sir. Huh? Next year. Next year. By insured metal rate, that is enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. Why not now in November? I am awaiting uh, the inter results, so after that I should... Are time, don't worry. You call me and ask me, sir, I am not going to do it. Sir, we also do uh, arrangement of hotel rooms to our corporate clients. So, on you all these critical things happen. GSC, there. There are multi-various activities there. <laughs> uh, basically, people logistics. We uh, arrange accommodation and travel uh, transport arrangements. Mm -hmm. So, we also get invoices from the hotels where they charge GST. Local, Tamil Nadu, or Valley Wood? Valley Wood. Upon the city, just Tanya and a consult Panama. No, 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 Angor party is not there. IGST bill is not there. No bill. Intrastate. It is within all because the service is consumed there. There, right. So I can't take credit. Don't. Correct. I will restructure it. I will tell you. So I am renting computers from the government. 
Okay. If you are renting computers, okay. From a vendor. Huh? From a vendor. Okay. You are receiving or you are renting? I am receiving. I am a consumer. Ah. You are taking on rent because I assume if you are renting computers, you have Sorry, rented I'm it. Taking on rent. You are taking computers on rent. Office. Okay. For okay. For your office, yes. So at the moment, I am not registered to GST. You are not registered. Not registered. Why? No, my auditor is still working on that. No, no. You are you are registered in the service tax law. No, not yet. Because of the. I recently registered my. Okay, recently only. Okay. okay. <coughs> then you register, you take credit. That's all. No problem for it. So the vendor will he be taking credit even before I get my GST registered? Your vendor. Yeah. You have taken on rent the computers. Yes. Okay. He has charged you GST. Like he has to produce a bill from July. Okay, okay. So in case if he registered for GST, okay. So he will take the credit right from the first invoice. No, he will pay the tax. He will pay the tax. He will pay the tax. He will charge you. He will pay the tax. So once I get my GST, yes. If I disclose the number to him, you can take credit for that. Service tax generalized panna pura hai. Tani category. Now you tell me. Advertising services. I am charging them. IDS. What is the advertising service? Now you tell me. Shooting the film and what for there? Inlet display for there. Media release. Commercial advertisement we are releasing through media release. Through media online. No, no. Inlet cinema theatre. Television, television. Ah, television. Satellite television. Satellite television. I am billing IGST to company in Karnataka. They, they are, they have taken your service. Okay. To telecast in. Uh, all over four states in uh, okay some television, television channel television channel so that television channel here is giving me a split bill of uh, CGST and CGST mm -hmm. so that IGST can be only adjusted against this CGST and SGST. Yeah, you can only means what you can the IGST which you charge you can adjust no you said uh, earlier that IGST can be only adjusted IG against no no in the same so order second IGST. part no need to it. IGST against IGST, IGST against CGST, IGST against GST. Okay. Yes, sir. So, if I am setting up a startup now, is it worth waiting for registration or register in the current process? Register, sir. If you feel that you are going to do big business and everything, register. Not in you can always cancel later if you company registered for company registration process. I'll upload on the bottom. I'm registered for any other questions, sir. Sir, is there any specific class of person to be registered in GST and the reverse of mechanism? You don't appear to be in this class, you are a professional. Okay. No, actually, well, I mean, you are you are the, you are the question normally. The profession will ask or a CA student will ask? Yeah, the CA student is. Then you ask me separately. Question is the wrong I found you out. Yeah. Because having addressed so, you can reason why the person is asking this question. It's an academic question you have asked in a practical atmosphere. So, I, I mean, uh, any more doubts you can always call me. My number I can give you. One, one final question. Yes. Karnataka, it's an ah. IGST that applies. Yes. So, uh, there could be two situations here. One, you know, my people provide the service from my Chennai office, or two, they can provide the service from the client's office in Bangalore. You have an office in Bangalore? No, I don't have an office, but the client has an office. Where your office is, that is most important. Yes. You will still. You may hire fellows from Bangalore. He is saying that his service is consumed in Bangalore. Yeah, correct. You may hire people from Bangalore and tell them to provide his service, but you will still bill from here, isn't it? Correct. Versus IGST. IGST. Interstate. Oh, but unless and otherwise the guy in Bangalore gave him an IS, I, IGST bill, he won't be able to take credit. That is there. That credit mechanism will work differently. So that's my cost and I cannot take it. It, has, I it, it may be your cost. cost. It may be your cost. Maybe, we don't know. Sir, sir. Sorry, I am not currently registered now GST. Suppose in the month of November, I am crossing 20 lakhs. So I have to register in the month of November. But I have to start paying tax only from the November month of November. Yes, yes. After what are I exceed? Once you exceed 20 lakhs, you will pay. After registered 20. 
after you cross for cross it's supposed to be paid 20 20 lakhs for the 5 lakhs only i have to pay the gst yes so what will happen whatever i bought I, items from uh, july 1st to december uh, i can't take any credit jai ho excuse me there is no notification like you reach 9 lakhs 25 lakhs right away registration excuse me sir one question for uh, creating ha it is done உதயோராதாரிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் <laughs> 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 Sir, now I employ uh, 10 carpenters, okay, and uh, I pay them. So, uh, do I have to pay service tax on their behalf? Why? Because they are providing. Two days is there no service tax? Sorry, no. Two days is there. GST. GST. Give me service tax. GST. No, no. I am talking about GST. Suppose ah. I employ 10 carpenters, okay, and I pay them. Hmm. So, what is my tax liability? You whatever. Amount you paid to those ten carpenters. Yeah. Why you paid it? For the services. What services? They made a table for me. For house or for office? Office. For office. Now this carpenters who pay, whom you paid ten people, you have to pay GST for them. Okay. Yes. On their behalf you have to pay. Are you a registered person? Yes. Then you have to pay GST. Then take a credit. On the phone bill or whatever coming in. Whatever. If you have service tax now, you have to uh, move on to GST. Yes, yes. You cannot avoid saying petty. <coughs> <coughs> For import of services, whether we need to pay uh, tax and we need to take a credit charge. Reverse charge, mechanical. Ah, reverse charge, mechanical. Yes. So thank you very much. It was nice talking to all of you. Kind of speakers that you have in mind. Uh, please give your suggestions. we also are looking at two three formats uh, which have happened in the past and we might want to continue doing this year i'll just give you an example of the format that we are looking at one of it is like a buyer seller meet a lot of startups have said can you give us place during the conference to exhibit what we have so that we can kind of promote our services and offerings and products to various customers who come there the people the delegates who come there so, so there's one request for table space There is another one which is like pitch to the CIO or CTO, that is the chief technology officer or the chief information officer or the purchase head of companies. So, if you are interested in that, like you know, we plan to probably invite applications, and those who kind of get selected can get a 20-minute slot with, say, a chief information officer or a chief technology officer. There are some people who have asked for this. so similarly if you have any other suggestions that you think we should have for this year's conference the broad theme for the conference is be prepared as you can make out there are a lot of changes happening legal technology customer wise globally etc that so many changes happening which are impacting all of us so the simple theme is be prepared which is prepare transform win that's broadly the concept that we have and it is going to be divided into two buckets one is which is industry or domain based like artificial intelligence uh, you know machine learning big data or health related aspects or even maybe tourism if people are interested so on the one side you have verticals industries and domains on the other side you have themes around entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship so it could be inspirational it could be things that entrepreneurs should do to prepare themselves if you have any thoughts any suggestions you can reach out to me or akila or the people in type and you can also drop your suggestions here Thank you very much and look forward to see you in Taiwan.